All right, so this is gonna be my first video of 2021. We are here in my humble establishment. A little setup. I can officially say that I might leave my PS5 at this setup because I have finally solved an issue that a lot of us were having, and that is getting 120 Hertz on your PS5 with your monitor that was probably capable of this in the first place. Now, some people went out of their way and bought another monitor. Some people threw their monitor away and said it was useless. But me, I stuck through. I had a guy flex his Sony 120 Hertz 55 inch TV on me. I had a guy tell me that I needed to upgrade to a 144 Hertz monitor. I had people tell me this wasn't possible on a 2.0 port. All kinds of crazy comments of people just shutting down my dreams of getting this 120 Hertz to work. Until recently, maybe even a while back, people started using this little guy right here. So this right here is an Evanlac, that's the brand, an Evanlac EDID emulator. This thing is only $23. And I do have, there are different versions of this. This one says 4K on the, on the front of it. it says 4K UHD. There's some that say 1080. I don't know if the 1080 one works. Mind you, my monitor is a 1080 monitor. The fact that says 4K on here means nothing. It's not gonna output in 4K or do any of that. The whole purpose of this is to allow your PS5 to communicate with the monitor so that it can display the proper settings that your monitor is already capable of doing. Real quickly, I am using this video as sort of a test for this new camera on this phone. I got an iPhone 12 Pro Max and I am currently recording this video and the audio for this video directly from the phone. So if it looks any different, less quality, more quality, whatever, I am using the front face camera right now and I will be editing this video on the phone as well and posting it to YouTube from the phone. I haven't really used the camera that much so I thought I might as well use it as a test for this video that I was gonna do anyway. And also my camera was dead so it was the perfect time to test this out. Now that you guys know what this is, an EDID emulator, I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the back of the monitor. I'm gonna bring the camera back there and show you guys where I'm plugging this into and exactly how it works and show you that it is working. All right, let me show you guys the back of this monitor. You see a 2.0 slot, a 1.4 and a 1.4. The other one is a display port. There is no 2.1 port on the back of this monitor. You might need a 2.1 to do the 120 Hertz and 4K or even to display 8K. We are not worrying about that right now. Most of us have a 1080p monitor and the issue we're having is in 1080. So 1080, 120 Hertz, you can achieve with a 2.0 port. So we're gonna go ahead and get the emulator here and plug it straight into that 2.0 slot. And then I'm gonna grab my PS5 HDMI, which is this one here. This is not the official PS5 cable and that does not matter. This is just a standard HDMI cable, nothing special about it. What will affect your output the most is not your cable, it's the port where you're plugging this into. So you're gonna go ahead and grab your, this is the PS5 HDMI. What you're looking at is the adapter in the 2.0 slot with the HDMI from the PS5 plugged into the adapter. That's pretty much the setup of getting this to work. All right, that's all plugged up. I do want to say that I changed absolutely nothing for my settings. A lot of people were telling me that I was missing settings or something. This was never a settings issue. I did all of my settings how you're supposed to, and it still wasn't working until I bought this. Before I had the emulator in my last video, down here there was absolutely no information uh, being shown. And now with the emulator, it shows the outputs that you can have in 4K. It does say 4K, and it does not say... 120 because the 120 is going to be in 1080. Up on the top, we have 1920 by 1080 60 hertz, which is what we had before. And we are in the main menu, so that is what it's going to show. And there's no game open, and you're in the main menu. I'm going to go ahead and open Fortnite. The first thing you're going to notice and know that you're in 120 hertz is that the screen will go black, just like that. That is how you know you're entering the new refresh rate. It has to transition from the UI menu that is 60 hertz to the game being in 120 hertz or frames. Before when I didn't have this, it wouldn't even show that 120 FPS mode up top. Now it shows it and it's on and it's working. The match is loaded up now and you will see right up here, we have 120 FPS and I did nothing 
different to my settings. It was always this issue with the PS5 and the monitor and the EDID emulator will fix that for you. I've also watched a couple other videos where people have gotten their monitors to work with the same method with using an EDID emulator. I don't think it matters what brand your monitor is. If you were having the same kind of issue, odds are it will get fixed by this EDID emulator as long as your monitor supports the 120 Hertz. As another example, I'm gonna go ahead and open Call of Duty just to show you guys that the screen goes black when the 120 Hertz mode is activated. Earlier I showed the UI where it said uh, it was in 60 Hertz before I opened the game. Call of Duty right now is open in the background while I'm in the UI. And if we go to screen and video, you will see video output, video output information, that it is in 1920 by 1080 and 120 Hertz. In the Cold War settings, you will see 120 Hertz refresh rate is enabled. Ray tracing is disabled. Another game that I've tried the 120 Hertz in is Destiny 2. It does the same thing. Screen goes black. That's how you know you're in the 120 Hertz. In Destiny 2, the 120 Hertz is only active when you're in Crucible, but it does work as you can see, and I've tested it, and it plays really good. That was all with the EDID emulator plugged into the 2.0 slot. I do get a lot of questions about whether it works or not on a 1.4 port on their monitor. Some people don't have a 2.0 port on the back of their monitor. This monitor has two 1.4 ports, so I have plugged in the EDID emulator to one of the 1.4 ports, and I'm gonna see what the results are. Real quickly, all I did was swap from the 2.0 port to the middle one, which is a 1.4. The one next to it is also 1.4. You can't really see where it says 1.4. Oh, there you go. We are now plugged into a 1.4 port in the back. Let's go ahead and open Fortnite and see what happens. We get a black screen, that's good. And we're back. And if we go to the system settings and screen and video, you will see that it says 120, even on the 1.4 port. In game, if we go to settings, we will see that we have 120 FPS mode as an option. So it looks like it's working even on the 1.4 port. We are plugged into the 1.4 port. So if you guys want to give this a shot and you don't have a 2.0 port, I'd say go for it. You can always return the emulator to Amazon. Hopefully this helps some of you experiencing that same issue with the 120 Hertz. Real quickly, I do want to thank everyone that's been watching my videos. I haven't posted in a little while and I've been seeing people still comment and watch previous videos. So that means a lot to me. I'm really close to getting 700 subscribers. So that is amazing, especially since I haven't posted recently at all. I'm gonna try to get back on it, start posting more, streaming more. If you guys enjoy any of my videos or streams, make sure you guys subscribe. If you guys have any comments or concerns, you can leave them down in any of my videos. I do get back to comments pretty quickly. So if you want to know anything or ask me anything, Feel free to drop a comment and I will get back to you once I see it. I did record this entire video on my phone. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video on my phone as well. I think that's, I think that's all I have for this video. I feel like I've said that a thousand times, but for real now, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for watching.